good stuff. And your first show's gonna your first show's gonna be bad. It will be. At least in your mind it will be. Yes. Uh, if you have a WordPress blog that is already on FeedBurner, yes. for your balance, your balance halfway done. You need to go into FeedBurner, mm -hmm. and you need to turn on the podcast parts. Okay, so that it will sort it for you. Yeah, and it gives you all the information that you want, what category your your podcast should be in in iTunes. So you should know iTunes podcast categories before you do that. Don't just guess. iTunes has a very structured way of way to do. And it'll know to separate the podcasts from the written blog. Happens automatically. Videos. That's correct. Okay. No. Uh, well, if there's a file attached to the post, it's going to end up in iTunes. Yeah. So if you attach a PDF, it's going to end up in iTunes. Okay. If you attach a video file where it's actually like a download link, that will end up being transferred to iTunes. That's part of the idea. That, that's the way it works. That's the way podcasts work. If you if you make, if you put with WordPress, if you put a link to something to download on your WordPress post, WordPress automatically converts that into an attachment, which will automatically be transferred to iTunes to any podcatcher. It will go to Google Reader as a download link. It's a separate little thing. So if you want to include things like that, oh, you do that. Because it's possible. That's where you would use a plugin like you know, the audio player plugin uh, to generate your attachment for you instead of the link out of WordPress post. Right? So we're still within our within our three plugin limit. That's how you would do that. And in FeedBurner too, I think there's some controls that only look for audio or video files. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yes. But uh, one other thing is that um, another way to keep it from grabbing those other bits. Is if the, is especially if they're on your server, don't include the full link. So if your website is somesite.com, don't go h don't make a link http cool forward slash slash mysite.com forward slash downloads forward slash file. Just go forward slash downloads forward slash block file. Because the, the link is generated from the complete URL link. That's how you do it. Yes. So a uh, way to sort of segregate your information though. Is in WordPress you can get the category yeah, or tags or something. Yeah. Not the other way to do it. So, so then, then to one yes. So then you make a you put your feed burner RSS feed, the one with your tag called podcast, and that's the one you take the feed burner. Yeah. And that's the only one that will get published out. So I see. Yeah. Feed but you might want to make a separate feed for your show. Yeah. yeah that's, that's what I'm wondering. Right. About. Yeah. Make a separate. And then you point it like the podcast category. Yeah. And then you're good to go. I've told Greg about that. Thanks, boss. Yes, and I actually just said that to you for mine, and it asks you, do you want just audio files, just video files, just okay. image, or all? Excellent. Feed burner is your best friend. Yes. It really is. Feed burner rules. And it's free to use. And really good stats. Yeah, yeah. you get good really good stats. Real stats. Because it's Google. Yeah, exactly, which is nice. <laughs> that goes under production and publication. Don't fret, don't stress, make, produce, 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 produce. Publish, promote. Yes. Kind of a two-part question. The first part is, when do you find time to actually produce? Okay. When you have a full-time job. Right. And the second part is, what's the frequency? Because I've heard a lot of podcasters say five times a week. Well, there are extremely successful because uh, they're doing a broad topic. Let's yeah. say, for example, like or be it, anybody who does like a Mac show, which is a really bad topic to get yeah. because the market essentially is flooded with Mac podcast. Right. Anybody does something really broad and they started early, they're probably pretty popular, probably pretty successful. Like the guy that does um, OS Ken, I can't stand his show. <laughs> I really can, but he does it five times a week, and I know he's making money from it. Yeah. It's the only way he do it five times a week. There's, there's a Mac cast by Adam Christensen. He's making money from it. Right? Uh, when do you do it and how do you do it? you got to pick a time that works for you and anybody else you're doing the show with. So if that happens to be <coughs> Thursday at 7 Pacific Peak Mountain, which is when I do my show, and have been doing my show for the last five years, then that's what it is. You need to find the time. If you want to do it, you need to find the time.